Hey, welcome back to a space you haven't seen yet, which I'm going to be talking about soon because it's something that's very exciting. More on that later. Another Film Diaries episode. This one's definitely different. Not as much BTS, but I want to share something insane with you guys. My friend Ben gave me a Hasselblad 500CM. Waking up stone cold Thinking about those old February dreams Thinking about you and me I feel forever indebted to Ben for doing this. I can't believe that he gave me something like this of that value. It's really cool to see what community can mean in circumstances like this. Ben came to one of my workshops about a year and a half ago and found a lot of value in what I taught him. And since he had this 500 CM that he inherited, just kind of sitting on a shelf and not being put to use, he thought it would be great to give it to me so it could be put to use. And I'm forever grateful for that because now it's going to be a legacy camera for me and my family and it's gonna be used for decades on end. This is an insanely cool film camera. It is medium format and it's actually the camera that they put on the moon, which is insane. It takes 120 film and in this particular model, a lot of people have the pop-up viewfinder that you look down and is opposite as you view, but this is a prism viewfinder that, was, that came with the camera from Ben's gift. It has a, like I said, a 120 back that I can load 120 film into and the newer version of the Zeiss Planar 82.8. There are different advanced levers on this camera, I believe, and this is just a standard knob one, I believe, that rotates every time you advance the film. So shutter, and then it rotates. Cut to B-roll. <laughs> Me being me with film cameras, I decided to just take a crack at it without watching any tutorials like the idiot that I am. And I like sharing these experiences because I don't want you to feel alone if you have done stupid things like this with film cameras as well. And I know I might get roasted in the comments, but I don't care because I'm willing to expose myself so that other people feel comfortable with doing film photography because it doesn't need to be something that's pretentious and something that only people who know everything about it can do. First three rolls that I put through this camera were Portrait 400. We even shot B-roll at the cabin when we went there in the winter and uh, it was me loading the film but loading it completely wrong. The issue I had is I took the film back out and I put the film in in the correct spot and ran it to the other spool. My issue was I didn't wrap it around the entire holder and expose the actual film to the camera. So it literally just sat in the back of the camera every time I took a frame and advanced the film and just went from one spool to the other without seeing any light through the lens. This big, big old facepalm moment. Because Mike, before we left for our trip to Arizona, developed all three rolls, took them out and said, they're completely blank. <laughs> Those moments suck. I, it ruined my night. I was very frustrated with myself and then this is just one of those hard lessons that I needed to have in order to do it correctly. So as we went on our trip to Detroit to do more commercial work, I, I made it a point to watch a tutorial to make sure I did it correctly. And I put my first roll of Cinestill actually through this and it was very successful and I'm very proud of those images. So go ahead and check those out. I was made Catch it first, right? I don't know, I think so. For myself And I knew it well Cause you're calling me golden <laughs> You're calling me golden You're calling me golden After that, I made another mistake. I loaded Portrait 800 into the camera. We also filmed a bit of that, the loading process while we were in Detroit. And I was having a lot of issues with loading this film. The issue was I loaded it in upside down, paper side up, which you're not supposed to do because the whole roll was exposed to the paper side and again was a completely blank roll. We did not try to develop that because I realized my mistake when I took the film out and tried to wind it all up and realized I shot it all backwards. So I didn't make that mistake again. I loaded another roll of Portrait 800 when I was with my family at a stay at the Ace Hotel in Chicago and I got all of these beautiful images. Call me
I hope that was cool and exciting. I said it, yeah, wow, yeah. You either liked it or you didn't. <laughs> Again, so thankful to Ben for this gift. Uh, I will cherish it for as long as this camera lives and my family thanks you and I thank you. Thank you. Uh, very excited to make more photographs with this camera and if you have it or you have any other kind of medium format film camera, leave a comment down below on your thoughts and what you like about what camera you have and we'll catch you in the next Film Diaries episode. Peace squad fam. Bye. Call me.